The Federal Reserve has been gaslighting the American people for two years now on inflation and the economy. At this point, the happy talk is hitting reality with the latest Empire State Manufacturing Survey, a bellwether for conditions across the country, showing its biggest plunge ever. Second only to the month, they literally shut down the economy for COVID. Economists had expected a minus five on the survey. A minus means the economy is contracting. The actual number was minus 31. Everything dropped across the board. New orders plummeted, unfilled orders plummeted, shipments crashed, capital expenditures dropped to zero, meaning companies are running down their assets at this point. Companies are even reducing workers and reducing the work week, both leading indicators of layoffs. In fact, the survey is now at a number we have not seen since the depths of the 2008 crisis. There were only two months out of the 18-month Great Recession that were this bad. So we are obviously not performing exceptionally well, as Janet Yellen has been telling us, nor is the economy strong as hell, as Joe Biden keeps maintaining. In fact, these are the worst readings since the worst of 2008. And by the way, 2008 itself was the worst recession since the Great Depression. Indeed, recent data is saying we could be very lucky if we only get as bad as 2008, because at least back then we did not have very much inflation. Banks dutifully hoarded the handouts that they were given by then-chair Bernanke uh, to cover for their bad debts. Not so this time. I mean, banks are still hoarding their handouts instead of lending them out, but it turns out printing up a third of the money supply in two years to fund a massive government takeover of the economy is, in fact, inflationary. As I mentioned the other day, Americans' inflation expectations for the next five to ten years are soaring again. In fact, they're higher than the peak of the inflation last year, when the official rate almost kissed 9%, and the unofficial rate was well into double digits. I guess Jay Powell was not kidding last year when he confessed, quote, we now understand better how little we understand about inflation. Put all these together, and we're looking at a 2008-style collapse before the recession has allegedly started, paired with a manufacturing collapse to go with the bank collapses we have already got all paired with potential double-digit inflation that is already looking like it's ready for a second go-round. We would have to go back to the 1970s to get the kind of stagflation the data is currently telegraphing. Of course, in the 1970s, we did not have $31.5 trillion in debt, which is now estimated to cost a trillion dollars a year simply to service, and we also did not have banks dropping like flies. So yes, we could get something even worse than the lost decade our parents warned us about. So what's next? Expect more this is fine happy talk from Yellen, Powell, and Biden as the fire gets worse. Give it another month and maybe Powell will even update us how much more he has learned about how little he understands the economy. And the American people, in the meantime, will have to wait for solutions. Okay, we'll be watching. See you next time.